The techniques used for hair transplant surgery are constantly evolving with new technological advances. Aesthetics doctor Dr. Fatima Baba is the first doctor in South Africa to bring the high-tech robot Atas robotic hair transplant. It uses the conventional hair transplant procedure to perform the operation. The robot extracts the hair follicles from the scalp, replacing human interventions. She explains it more in detail, so let's take a look at this. My venturing into aesthetic medicine was a bit by default. So after I got diagnosed with cancer and then obviously surgery, chemotherapy and all of that, um, I had a lot of side effects. So I couldn't actually go back and do um, anesthesia because you need to be quite fit. Uh, my sisters were already in the aesthetic medicine field and said, you know, why don't you join us? Um, so I came into aesthetic medicine by default, but it's the best thing that I think has ever happened to me. Uh, personal growth, emotional growth, and just, I think, growing with people and getting to know people. It's a project that's been taken on by myself and five, six other doctors um, that we've done together um, to bring in the robot to South Africa. So it's the first hair transplant robot in South Africa and in Africa as well. Um, so that's quite a big milestone, um, I think, for, for medicine in South Africa, because as we know, um, artificial intelligence is um, the basis of the fourth industrial revolution. So I think we're doing pretty good. It's ideally for people who are in remission. So if you've been through the chemo and you've been um, done already, then you can have you know, the artist hair um, transplantation. Um, but having said that, like I mentioned earlier, it's not only for people that I mean, have been chemo. It's, it's something, yes, that's close to my heart and something that obviously I did consider um, because it's one of the main things that you lose your hair, you lose your eyebrows, you lose your eyelashes. So this is an option. But you have to remember also, it's only an option for people who do have hair existing because you need to actually transplant hair. So you basically will take hair from an existing area and then you would transplant it to the area it needs to go to. So um, for people that have what we call diffuse hair loss, uh, it's not an option. But for people that have localized hair loss, so like around the crown, the middle of the head, receding hairlines, for those people it's a good option to have um, and it's something that works really well for them. Hair transplantation is a costly affair, um, no taking away from that and obviously because it's ro done robotically that adds on to the cost. Um, so you're looking at in a range from 50 to 100,000, depending on how many hairs are going to be transplanted. Um, if we just, you know, look at it from a, um, just a, a medical perspective, you've got to look at the patient, you've got to um, assess them, and then you've got to see how many hairs are viable that you can actually trans, I mean, harvest, so take out, and then we've got to implant those hairs. So you've got to see, you know, how many you can implant. Um, the least we, I mean, minimum you can do any amount, obviously, there's no um, minimum, but maximum we say between sort of 1,500 to 2,000 hairs, merely because if you take out 2,000 hairs from an area to plant it somewhere else, the area you're taking the hair from would likely lose all the hair, and you don't want to do that. So you don't want to take hair from a spot and take so much that the hair there is not going to grow back to put it somewhere else. So we've got to also understand that hair is very, very complicated. It's not really as simple as we think it is. So if you're having hair loss because of a medical condition like hyperthyroidism, uh, cortisol levels that are high, or just male pattern baldness, which is because of you know increased testosterone and all of those reasons, you've got to deal with the underlying cause first, and then you transplant. So if you if you've got the cause sorted out and you transplant, yes, the hairs will stay for as long as a hair cycle continues, 10, 20 years. Um, transplant
transplanting about 2,000 to 3,000 hairs can take up to 10 hours, maybe more, depending on obviously um, how experienced the, um, the doctor and the center is. And there are some really experienced centers in South Africa. So the first thing that, that the robot does is it actually cuts the time by half. So you're looking at about, I would say, between five to six hours. That's the first thing. The second thing um, is that the robot is so, well, clever, if that's a good word to use, that they actually analyze the hair and they would harvest all the hairs that are viable. So they will only pick out the hairs that are potentially going to grow. They won't pick out a hair that's not going to grow. So that the robot automatically does. And then the third advantage of this is that when we manually transplant hairs, so for example, if I'm doing this particular area here, um, and you put in the hairs, we don't necessarily, or we can't accurately place a hair away from a hair already with the naked eye, but the robot does that. So it actually spares all your existing hair and it plants next to them. So empowering women is one of the major things that we, we try to do, social upliftment. Um, we have quite a few ladies who have come through us uh, who started as the domestic and have now gone up to be therapists and, you know, worked themselves up from there. So that's very important to me. We run a mentorship program, not only in the medical um, environment, but across the board, where we... Um, sort of identify women who want to start up or entrepreneur and then we, we pair them with women who are already established in, a, in, the, in that sector to actually mentor them and guide them and help them set up their businesses.